Hey, so if you've been on this website for any amount of time, you know that the YouTube comment section is absolute garbage. Oh shoot, I hope I didn't get rotten banana on that. You know what I mean. Comments that just say where you live, or comments that are begging for likes, or comments just saying what year they're currently watching in, or most of all, comments complaining about other comments. This is just absolute nonsense. But if human comments are so mindless to create, maybe computer AI has a good chance of replicating them pretty well. Specifically, let's try a type of AI called neural networks, which is kind of based on structures like the brain, where we have inputs on the left that, yeah, I guess, take stimuli from the outside world, and then they'll either fire with a zero or a one or some value in between. And then they carry that information through these synapses. And the special part is each synapse has a different weight so that the, um, the amount of signal that passes to the next level of neurons is kind of like conditioned to detect different things in the previous layer. And then they just keep firing with different weights in the synapses as well to the next layer and it just keeps going on and on until we get to the output node. And hopefully, if this neural network is trained correctly, it'll be able to make intelligent decisions. Of course, just giving a computer this structure like this won't make it be intelligent, right? Because there's nothing really encoded here. So that's why after you set this model up, you have to train it for like hours and hours, showing it a ton of examples and the desired output for each example. And then every time an input comes in, the network tries to guess what it thinks the correct answer will be. And at the beginning, it'll pretty much just be guessing randomly, but then it compares that with the actual answer that the training data said it should be. So over time, it can slowly tweak the weights of these synapses so that the output that it creates gets closer and closer to what the training data says it should be. But language is sequential, and it turns out that the basic neural network structure I showed you earlier, which is called a feed-forward neural network, it's not very good at dealing with sequences. So let's make things a little more advanced by using this other structure called a long short-term memory neural network. And I am not very smart, so I don't, I don't like understand everything that's going on here. But people smarter than me, like Andre Carpathy, have programmed LSTMs and it's all open source online. So I just downloaded the source code and I ran it on some comments on YouTube. Who wants to see inside my twile folder? Anyway, my brother Frenozzle created this file called ytcommentscanner.html and what it does is allows you to get all the comments of a YouTube video in JSON format. What you do is you copy the end of the URL of the video that you want to get the comments for and then just paste it up here and then when you hit get comments it'll return all the comments of that video. Um, now this works pretty well except when the video has more than a thousand comments it starts to lag pretty badly. So while this is quite useful, um, I eventually had to use a different source. Fortunately, due to the IDFB vote counting project from a few months ago, I already had access to the spreadsheet that has all the comments of our most commented video called IDFB1. So there's actually around 50,000 comments, 30,000 of which were processable. This is a list of all the comments on that video ever. So I just copied all the text into Notepad++, producing this text file called commentsfull.txt. So you can see these are real comments by real people, and each line represents one comment, which means line breaks inside of comments were removed. But that means there are 34,825 comments to look at. If you've been around on my channel for a while, you know that the main thing I do is YouTube animation for kids on this show called Battle for Dream Island. So what does this mean for IDFB1? Well, at the end of the video, the instructions were that you were to vote who you think should be freed from the TLC first. The TLC is kind of like a prison, and these were the options you could vote for. So these are essentially characters you would like to debut in this show. That explains why the comments are all what they are here. Like, this person wants Teardrop to join the show. This person wants Fiery Jr. to join the show, and so on. But if you want to know what the training data looks like, this is it. As in, this is the data that we want our neural network to replicate as closely as possible. Now, Torch doesn't work on Windows, which makes me sad, but that means I had to copy the text file over to my MacBook, because Torch does work on Mac. So here's the text file on my MacBook now. You can see that I actually kept all the emojis, like here. Look at that, match please please. Sad emojis, aw. Also, I randomized the 
order the comments here so that there's no bias that earlier ones would show up at the bottom of the text file and so on. So to start training on Torch, we simply type, well I typed it up earlier, TH for Torch, train, and then saying that there's 300 neurons in each layer, and then there's three layers. Then we just hit enter and then it goes. So this is what it looks like when it starts training. Along every step of the way, it says that what the training loss is. So it starts at five, then it goes down to four, and then it goes down to three, and then gradually it'll get lower and lower and lower, though the progress gets slower and slower over time. I let this run overnight a few days ago, and it got to a training loss of 0 0.45. So no point in waiting for it now, since I've already got that here. This is all machine learning generated, right? So this is the AI trying to replicate human speech. Let's see how good it is. Cool man says Fiery Jr. Frosted Robot 22 says Snowball. These are not real YouTube accounts and these are not real comments, but based on the training data, which looks like this, it looks pretty similar. So I think it's pretty clear to see that it learns phrases like I vote for blank quite easily just because that appears so much. Also, the format is set up so that you have the username, then a colon, and then the comment they typed. And occasionally it puts a quotation mark before the username. I'm not really sure why, but it might have to do with YouTube making that username a link. So it's, it's kind of special, but you can kind of ignore that for now. This is the end result of it all. I would say that the shorter the comment is, the more likely the AI is to be convincing. For example, things that are shorter than five words like this here are very much like humans, whereas longer ones like this, what the heck is golf ball, got a limbed about it. You can see that halfway through it starts to not make sense, which is just something that happens with the LSTM. One, and bubble. Hope you at least is a reboot. It would love it to join but to November a freening. I'm not really surprised that this neural network didn't learn language as well as it learned music. Why? Well, I think to speak fluently in a language, you need to know several thousand words. Whereas with music, there might only be maybe a couple hundred patterns you really have to learn. And besides, language ties in so much with culture and just the societal way of thinking that I don't think a machine could ever learn it. For example, like if a meme gets really popular and people start referencing it so much in language that everyone just understands, a machine trained on language before that point will have no chance of grasping that concept. Abeli Salma, I love BFDI because we'll have it now. Aw, thanks for loving BFDI, not real human. Brenda Mendenhall, this is Dream Island. Also, I choose Teardrop, but it's true. By the way, if any of you were at the YouTube headquarters mobile live streaming workshop a few weeks ago, then you know that hashtag Team Penguin rules. So here is the situation. Carrie has just created a neural network using Andre Carpathy's yeah, code to, to make a bot that will generate fake BFDI, IDFB comments. Okay, so I was thinking with this game, we can set it up right now and 
The viewers can comment guessing whether they think it's real or fake. Beach Boys Fan Forever says, Please do not got eliminated. What do you think? We see real, fake, fake, Your head's coming real. Up. Oh, sorry. It's like half and half. Fake, fake, real. Half and half. Not you says fake. Phoenix Everything says fake. Object Studio says hmm, fake. Real, fake, not real. I'm going to guess fake. So I'm going to say real. Three, two, one. It's AI oh! generated. Oh, it's kind of hard to read on the blue there. This is the cold calculating logic of a machine, a robot. I want PFDI, but this is still good. It's That's too human. perfect. You're just giving, you're giving away points. Okay, yeah, it's anyway. completely a robot. Three, two, one. See, it's real. Oh, uh, Wisdom Bird, you were right. Oh, here's a long one. Rap John Mysterious. <laughs> Rap John Mysterious says... I'm thinking AI already. Yeah, I'm thinking AI also. Rap John Mysterious says, new stamies. <laughs> so watch... <laughs> So what go watch Titian is just a BFDI because Hauser Bros Eraser Y. I go AI. Mm. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. I go AI. I'm thinking human. Oh. AI oh. generated. I'm astounded. I told you. No, but I'm surprised it learned the word mysterious because how often would that appear in the text? Clearly, the artificial intelligence has learned how to replicate human indecisiveness. So Ram Turtle says Yas. Now I know that Ram Turtle is a real YouTube channel. Whoa. Real account. Is this is this a robot impersonating Ram Turtle? Some of you might know Ram Turtle personally. Would he say Yas? I'm gonna say robot. It's okay, somebody being falsely impersonated. Real. Ah. Uh, so Ram uh, Turtle did say Yas. Wow, Ram Turtle. I did not expect those words out of your mouth. I know, I know. Put some soap in there. Game set and match, is that what they say? I game's guess so. over. I guess so. Carry oh, carries one. Only I did through win. his only through his luck. Through my lock, and only by a tiny margin. I am a PG running over haters in my van. 